Most of us know the names for most common animals. Dogs, cats, bears, chickens, cows, ducks. We know the names, but there are some other words that we need to know about animals which are not as common. These are especially the baby names for common animals. That's right, animals that are babies have a special name for different animals. And onomatopoeias. An onomatopoeia, it's a long word, is basically a word for a sound. For example, if I hit myself, then we might say smack. That's an onomatopoeia, and there's a special way to spell that. Or drip, drip, if water comes off of my finger, drip, drip, D-R-I-P, onomatopoeia. Or if I zip, Z-I-P, zip up my hoodie, onomatopoeia. Animals also have onomatopoeias for the sounds they make. So we're going to go through a few animals and talk about some of the baby names and onomatopoeias for those animals. Here we go. First, cats. Well, a baby cat is called a kitten. Now, what sound do cats make? Normally we say cats make a meow sound. Meow, 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 meow. Sounds the same. Sometimes though, for baby cats or kittens, we say mew, 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 because it sounds a little different. So adult cats and kittens have a different onomatopoeia. How about dogs? Okay, dogs, when they're babies, and maybe you know this one, are often called puppies or pups. Puppies or pups. Now, dogs make different sounds. Sometimes we say dogs say woof, woof, woof. Or sometimes we say dogs bark, bark. The dog is barking. The dog is barking. Sometimes, if the dog is ow, we say the dog is howling. The dog is howling. Hi there, you go. Hi there, boy. Ah, good boy. What are you saying to ow? Look this way. <laughs> now, how about a bear? A bear. Well, bears have babies, and baby bears are called cubs. Bear cubs. A bear cub. Now, what sound does a bear make? Well, we could say two different things. Something like, Rawr! could be a roar, a roar, but we might use that one more for a lion, for example, or an animal that makes that kind of sound. Sometimes, maybe bears do, but usually we use growl, Grawr! a growl, a growl for a bear. <coughs> Now, how about a cow? How about a cow? Well, a baby cow is called a calf. A calf. What about the sound cows make? We use one word, one onomatopoeia for cows, and that one is moo. Mm moo. To moo is to make the sound that a cow makes. Cows moo. Chickens. Chickens have chicks. Babies are yellow, very small, very cute, and they're called chicks. That's very easy to remember. Chickens, chicks. And the sound that a common chicken makes, a female chicken is called a hen, is a cluck. If it's a rooster, a rooster is a male chicken, more colorful, then we would say, the rooster crows. The rooster crows. If you live in the countryside, maybe you hear the rooster crowing in the morning. <coughs> Roosters crow. Chickens cluck. I just want to very quickly mention ducks. Ducks quack. Quack, quack, quack. Ducks quack. <laughs> All right, so remember, those are the sounds those animals make, and also the names for the babies 
of those animals. Remember, see you next time. Hey, don't forget to push the red button to subscribe. Also, if you're a serious English learner, I think you'll like my full courses. Click on the link in the description to check them out. Okay.